Right, so my name's Angie and my daughter Stacey attended Auckland Lake Academy for six years up until May last year. She was low in confidence and really struggled to cope with change, making transition time an extremely anxious period for her. Um, so thanks to the support of our guidance teacher, Mrs McVeter, and the principal teacher for support for learning, um, Mrs McCrory, they came up with a really different type of experience for six years um, to make the, the transition a bit easier for her. So she wanted the safety and security of staying on at school um, while being able to test out what life after school might be like, which meant on a Monday she was an infill student at Air College. On a Tuesday they managed to source community work in a, it was a, a lunch club, serving lunch to the vulnerable members of the community. So she would interact and serve and, and sort of help make sandwiches and clear up. On a Wednesday she would be in school all day, but if she had any free periods she would be used in support for learning to mentor younger pupils. On a Thursday they managed to find a voluntary work placement in Tesco which actually led to the offer of a part-time job, which she was able to, to take up before um, she left school. And on a Friday, she would be back in school as well, again, accessing support for learning to mentor younger pupils um, if she didn't have anything, any periods um, on. Um, all that experience led to being nominated for the Colin McLean Award, um, which she, she received, which she's extremely proud of because she achieved in the, the face of adversity. She also re received a Soul Tire Award for her um, community hours that she, she worked. Um, so yeah, I think that gave her the confidence and really equipped her with the skills that she needed. Um, because she, at one time Stacey said if she could have stayed on for a seventh and eighth year, she would have rather than face what life after school would be like. And that really was due to the commitment of her, of her guidance staff and support for learning staff, because she really was quite low in confidence but came out of six years really quite a different young person to what she started. But even early on, they, they never missed an opportunity to find something that would help develop Stacey's social skills or, um, or develop her confidence. Um, things like they nominated her for the Ocean Youth Trust and she had a five day voyage aboard a yacht, mixing with young people that she'd never met before, so that increased her, her social skills. She had to work during the five days, so she tested out all the roles above deck, below deck, catering, you know, she, she came back with some problem solving skills that she didn't probably have before as well. They also encouraged and facilitated her to go to the Italy ski trip every year, so she became a bit of a veteran of that trip. Um, had gone five years and by the time the end was coming, I think um, the whole staff in Italy were, you know, were quite upset at the fact that that was her last year. And she was mentoring and taking younger pupils under her wing there as well. We were never made to feel that because she wasn't a straight A student, it didn't matter. It was about realising her individual potential, and you know she definitely did um, here. I can't praise the school you know highly enough. She is now um, working at Dodor School um, with vulnerable young adults with autism, and she's really thriving in that role. She really enjoys it.